man that doesn't have any female friendships. Bingo. I, I don't want to date a man who only gets input from other men and who has all women in two categories, your mother or your aunties or someone I want to sleep with. You have to have a broader spectrum on women and their value in your life if you're going to be with me. Totally. Well, first off, only getting information and opinions from other men sounds terrifying. Um, terrifying. So I, I encourage that to not be what anybody does ever, but you're totally right because the more we keep talking about can you have friends of the opposite sex, the more you start feeling like everybody is like primal animals in a zoo. You literally cannot physically be around someone of the opposite sex without just like your clothes coming off. Like, I, I don't, do it. I don't, and I would never have any relationship that I'm ever in. Like, I'm not going to tell my partner, you can't be around women. Because if I feel like I have to tell you that, what does that say about what I think you're like when I'm not with you? That I can't trust you to be around women. That, like, platonically. I would say that says more about my choices and who I'm with. Because I'm never going to feel like I have to control you or I have to monitor the friendships that you you are in. I don't want to date him. <clears throat> I, I'm really, really, really tired of the trying to paint any type of restriction. Um, or really anything that requires you to go without, have self-discipline, anything of that nature. We, I, I'm sick of it being put under this. You're just trying to control people and you're a bad person. And then also we try to make this a just male thing. This is not a male thing. I, I hate. Why do we keep doing that? Because it makes it easier to have the opinion because you can just say men back. This is this is this isn't retarded. This this is almost just like you lying. Because you're pretending that. Not only is it male, a male thing, it's just to control people as if people can't have an actual concern. One of the biggest problems in this is people who do this never have to actually tell you that they never have to give you any real like examples or, or any any real like they get to, to like super minimize what the issue is. They get to dismiss any issues or concerns you might actually have. For existence, what do, people use the term friend extremely loosely here. Extremely loose. How, like, do you just play ball with your friends? Do you hang out with your friends at their house two or three times a week for a few hours? Um, so, no, actually, let's run with that example. Let's run with that one. So, let's say I... I get into a new relationship and I break it to her that, you know, I have a female friend who I hang around, hang out with, you know, three times a week. We pretty much just chill at her house for a couple hours. If she says, um, that is really odd. That's I'm, I'm uncomfortable with that. Uh, you plan on to continue, continuing to do that while in a relationship. So well, well, yeah, what's the problem? I am now making a scene no, I am now making it to where anything suspicious that could be going on with us is just her, just in her head. She can't, she can't have a problem with me hanging out with my, and remember, this could be any time of the day. And I'm going to show you an example. Let's go right to the example here. So this lady right here, Anita Maj 18, and I have no issues with my partner, guy or girl, having friends of the same or opposite sex. And now that's key, actually. That that comes in, into really good, 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 good play here. And I ask, like, so what boundaries would you set for their relationship? She says, boundaries are something you set for yourself. Rules are for others. My partners are adults, and I'm not going to give them rules. We may outline agreements about what we decide, consider respectful or disrespectful. And I'm like, those are one and the same. You can't have one without the other. She goes, I disagree. I'm not going to establish rules for another adult to follow. They are not a child. I know what I am willing to accept. <clears throat> Furthermore, 
I am bisexual based on some of the arguments in the, in the comments. I'm not allowed to have any friends because we might smash. I'm a grown woman and can control my desires and urges. Stop acting like men are incapable of doing the same. I know not all men and women have the ability, but many do. And then she just dismisses me with a, okay, but oh, that's because I put boundaries and rules. Go ahead and hit. The Instagram sorts his, his responses are really stupid. So she doesn't under, <coughs> excuse me. Her and other people don't understand. You can't have boundaries and rules. <coughs> so you, I don't know what the hell's going on. I need more water. But she doesn't understand it. You cannot have one without the other. So, to, so let's 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 get this straight. If and I, I'm going to give you an extreme example to get you to understand what I'm saying. So let's say you tell your your your, your partner, hey, you cannot have, you cannot perform oral sex on your friend. The reason I'm I, I'm making this here example because we know people consider somebody that they're having sex with oftentimes as just their friend. They're, they're, they, 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 they're like friends with benefits, fuck buddy, and so on and so forth. They consider them just a friend. Now, if you say, oh, obviously that's a boundary that I'm not okay with, blah, blah, blah. That's a rule. How do you, how do you, how do you enforce that without a rule? Like, stop acting like this. Just so different. No, that is a rule you put in place and say, hey, you cannot do this. So just because someone goes further and say, listen, if you have friends of the opposite sex and you guys hang out with each other at each other's house or in private, blah, blah, blah. I am not cool with that. For example, let's say she, I get in a relationship and she says, you and she says you can't have female friends of the opposite sex. Period. And I say, okay, I hoop because I used to hoop uh, with many women. For example, this one girl years ago, who I would hoop with on the regular, is would that be then okay? Because we hoop together on the regular. Like, understand? Obviously, there are so many gray areas and diff that's and buts that comes into play that people like to just. This is a prime example, actually. The fact that people do that with this shows you how white white people who say this are actually in the in the right. Can they be more extreme, and more strict than others? Yes, but that doesn't eliminate the the fact that this can be wrong to some degree. And in the in the video, they're saying, "Oh, acting like men in the and women in the same room, then you just your clothes are just bound to come off." No. You're limiting or getting rid of some of the, the, the situations that can cause that. Think about it. We have terms like work wife, work husbands, and we know oftentimes those people have actual relationships or even marriages at home. But we want to act as if you feel uncomfortable about a pl quote unquote platonic friendship of other the opposite sex is just this thing that, oh, you just. By default, we're automatically going to have sex with one another. No, that's not what that means. It's, uh, it, and you almost just want to just just get childish and call people names because of how dense they're being on purpose. Oh, so you act like <clears throat> you act like people putting seatbelts in cars. People can't go on the road and not and not, and not get into an accident. We, we know it happens, right? We we know that, right? What do you mean I can't have a, a, be drunk behind the wheel? People go home and be drunk without behind the wheel, not not getting not killing anybody all the time. But we know it happens, right? And it is okay to say I'm not comfortable with these relationships you have because of this. It is so stupid to do that. And to note before we go through the comments, any of the comments, those are two women who work. And professions where they're not only around men, but obviously they have to be friendly to other people who in a lot of cases are men. So they're even in like 
to, they're acting even more dense about it than usual because of their job sake. Damn. And then the fact that you, I, uh, you can't only have uh, 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 advice from men, but you're two women taking advice from each other. So with any man who tells you the opposite of what you think right now, would that be okay? Would you listen to that? You actually like damn near def debunk your own point. And this one is one that really got me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Men who have platonic relationships with women are men who actually see women as humans, not sexual objects. I have no issue with my man having platonic friends, but men be wanting women to accept their fuck buddies. Here's, here's what really fucked me up. It's always women who go, men see women as sexual objects, and then be having a bunch of pictures and videos with just their titties out. It's like, ma'am, who the fuck was, would be okay with, where, that, where the hell did they go? Like you, clear, like, you clearly have no problem with being a sexual object. The, she, I'm, I, I guarantee you she would say, well, what's, what's wrong with my pictures? It's, I just have a little bit of TDO. It's normal. It's natural. Bruh. Like... Was this this just my friend? Uh, 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 damn, I'm fucking up the whole example that I'm trying to be a smart ass about. But of course, she doesn't understand boundaries. A, a woman is is not supposed to have some some something to to say about her man having her as a friend when she don't mind having titties out. All the time. But I'm um, in a bikini. What you mean? I actually can't even use that one. But y'all get the point. No, it's not her. A woman is supposed to see her, her 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 man hanging with the titties out, lady, and not and not supposed to go. Yeah, that that's that's not okay. That's not okay. She probably sent him a picture just like that. That's just we just friends. We're just friends. What's the problem? What's the problem? We're just friends. <clears throat> That's an outfit. Oh, um, pool. She said pool. That's probably so. That's a bikini. Of course, you don't see it, and you don't understand why people have boundaries. <clears throat> it's balanced perspective. Only meat-minded people. Always suspicious of sex. Um, only weak-minded people um, want to draw boundaries within their relationship, and they don't want you to be. They don't. They don't want you to be able to always say that's just a friend with every fucking thing. Isn't it a weak-minded approach to say I shouldn't have to go without anything? This is the same conversation I remember having with someone. When we were in high school. Like, isn't that a weak-minded person who can't let go of their teenage desires? To be able to hang around any and everybody they want? Here's the odd thing. We have we will have a problem, or we will support a woman who says, you know, her her man hangs out with with, with, with his guy friends two or three times a week after work for hours. Because she wants him to come home, but yet replace us with another woman, he can just call her insecure. That's how you know this is some bullshit. <clears throat> I strongly disagree. Uh, 
agree. And women who want to have these types of platonic relationships with men are manipulative. And secondly, the comments that Instagram chooses to hide are alarming. And these men just gave an honest opinion, shaking my head, blah, blah, blah. I may actually go show you the uh, comment real quick that the Instagram deleted. As I was going to respond to this guy, it deleted it right then and there. So this is the comment. It says, I, I posted, I would really like for you for, for people to define friend because knowing you doesn't make you my friend. And am, am I just hanging out with the chick on the regular? Do we go and drift together? What's the point of this? That was that was the question. That was what I posted that they said was um, against guidelines. Here's where the three things they said were their guidelines. Repeating the same comment. That was the first time I ever posted that. Getting fake likes, follows, shares, or video views. Obviously not. Uh, coordinating likes and shares to make something look more popular. Obviously not that. So what was it really? Or did, did the person who posted it report that and make it sound make it seem as if I did that? But back to the back to the uh back to the video. Laugh my ass off until she's cuter than you. Now this was a joke that he posted, but it's a very one of those very true, real jokes, right? Because as I stated about the lady up, up there, if 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 they if the if their man is hanging out with a chick on the regular and and they feel threatened by that chick or they see that that chick is like, wait a minute, that chick seemed kind of kinda of, kinda of flirty. You don't think that they're gonna go, yeah, I don't really like the way she acts or behaves. Is it insecure at that point? Or do they just, you know, just have boundaries, which is hedging their best like old girl at the top. I don't have rules, but we all have boundaries. But yeah, the boundary is having this platonic friend that you hang out with on the regular that, that that's a boundary men aren't always saying aren't saying we can't be friends with women it's really simple what the fuck would a man gain from a female friend he gains nothing men already have to understand women enough to be able to acquire the things they want from them so their input on related things are irrelevant but other purpose than sex can they provide Oh my God, dude, this was a terribly formatted sentence. But what I think, what I think he's trying to say is women, and I'm working backwards here from what he said. Uh, women don't understand the, 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 why men say this because t for women, every dude, will, will, you know, most dudes pretty much just smile on their face and say, who, hey, kum, kumbaya, whatever. And, you know, pretty much say what they want to hear. You got to give them what they want, blah, blah, blah. It's either that or, I guess, you know, the people, the misogynists who hate women, I guess. I guess those are the only two men women run into, apparently. Um, but he doesn't understand the whole, you know, a guy who wants female friends. <clears throat> one, either he's already really good with people, which makes him defaultly good with women. Or... He's a, a guy with an, an, an agenda, right? Either way, as, if you are the man who has a woman, you got to really be deciphering through that. You got to really, you know, be more defensive of this guy who's in, you know, in your life. Who it, It's so much shit that happens versus, you know, it, it, look at how to point, point this out. Like, how, how, how it's assumed that men are more uh, insecure in the matter versus what you know what a woman would be is it's, it's a tougher thing like you 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 gotta let a dude pretty much smile on your face who'll be fucking chick and just be like you know i ain't insecure like, damn like it takes so much more to just be around you right than the other way around is I think what he's saying, which is why would 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 probably make more more women be, you know, in in disgust or in defense of why they can't have male friends, because granted you you gain to lose more by getting rid of your friends, right? You lose way more attention, you lose way more, um, 
you no know, possibility, you know, those, you know, those study where they said like this amount of women had something on the back burner. I don't know how they did the study, what questions they asked, but that was the results of the study. So, you know, you know, eliminate that, eliminating that possibility. Like there's, there's a lot of shit other than I'm afraid you're going to find better dick than me. Like you can't keep doing that. You can't keep doing that. You want men to think outside the box, but yet th that is a common, you know, tactic use. You know, you're just insecure that a man might be better than you, which doesn't even make sense because that's actually a, a logical approach. If I think that I am a bottom of the barrel guy, wouldn't it make sense that, hey, 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 there are too many guys up there who are better than me now. Don't be going and entertaining them. Like that is actually a logical approach. But fine, you're not allowed to be logical if you're, you know, at the bottom of the barrel, right? But the same logic that y'all are saying, don't be bottom of the barrel. You don't be bottom of the barrel and don't be here. Like, you're here for a reason. You're here for a reason. But we're going to pretend like that's not possible, that, you know, women are bottom of the barrel and are with bottom of the barrel guys. No, only the guys are bottom of the barrel and women are suffering because of it, apparently. All right. This is why I don't hang with dudes who have female friends. They be saying super shit like this. So it sounds like he's a guy who is saying that he doesn't have male friends who have female. Like, okay, this is, but this is also stupid. Because again, if, I mean, is, is he bringing her around and she's saying shit like this in the group? Or does he have his own friends separate from me as his friends. But we're at a point in society, like I said earlier, where friend, the word, all words are pretty much bastardized to mean anything. Again, what does friend mean? Are we hanging out in the treehouse together? Or we do we simply just know each other? Because at that point, if we're defining friend as someone you just know, well, now that that breaks that that breaks all hell now, because what boundary can you set when simply knowing somebody constitutes friend? And I think that people play with that that bond that line way too much, and be, and now it becomes an enforceable thing. At that point, you can't even really have a conversation about the topic because people always, for the convenience factor, say that again them and their line of work. Oh, like Joy, she works with people like. Uh, uh, I don't know. I, I forget. Like Jay Wright, B, damn, he's married, so I can't use him. So let's just say Guy A, because I can't think of any of the dudes' names. Let's say Guy A. She works with him. So therefore, let's say after work, though, just those two people want to go grab, you know, a drink at the bar or you know, a bite at the you know the place you know that's you know right next door to the workplace. Is that allowed? I'm pretty sure Joy Taylor Blake, what's wrong with that? That's my friend. I can't have no friend. Like, but it's like, hold up. This transition from co-worker to now y'all just hang out at the, the spot next door. However many days a week. That's people. That is bonding with someone. That's bonding. That's creating and carrying on with chemistry. That is not out of bounds to have as a rule. It's not. That is a legit rule. That is a legit concern. I, I'm, I'm sick of having to, of, of people having to defend this as their position. That is legit. You are telling me that you having this, this ongoing bonding situation with this friend it's just a, a, it's just non consequential. You know what? Actually, let's let's think about this. So, what if on the guys' end, like how much money are you allowed to spend on this female friend, right? Because that's what some friends do. You know, ain't no problem with them. Just you know, oh god, dog, I, I I got it. So how much how how much? You understand that 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 can by default be a date, right? Like, so what's the difference when the guy says, oh, this is my, this is just my friend. And, and, it, and it looks like they could be on a date with each other. Right. 
This is bullshit. Stop doing that. <clears throat> this has to be a setup. Can't even count how many times I got in trouble with a girl for having female friends. The fuck y'all actually want? Nobody wants to date that woman, so it isn't her opinion is irrelevant. I really don't know what to say about that. Um, all I because all I know is Joy Taylor has. I think she's like in her late thirties, I believe. Um, which by obvious obviously her to be Joy Taylor in her situation, obviously she's a career woman who puts career first. Um, so there's no there's. It's not by default a correlation to her finding a man because you never know why it is that that, that they said they passed on her or she passed on them. So without knowing a, enough of what she said about herself, because I don't follow her, I'm going to just pass on that comment because, again, I don't really know. Um, Until she gives him opposing advice. Now, that is actually an under rated comment because you don't know outside parties this and they, 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 people will tell you all the time right you know don't let anybody in your business don't let anybody blah 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 people talk to their friends about their relationship problems so <coughs> excuse me so if your partner's opposite friend your friend of the opposite sex excuse me um I, after all that bonding is interested in your man or woman, don't you think it's much more likely that they'll give them advice that ruins the 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 um the relationship? That like, you're allowing someone to have unfeathered access, or us aside from just fucking them, the to uh put poison in your relationship why is that just okay there was this guy i think he was a rapper and it went viral and he said my friend is not my girl's friend my girl's friend is not my friend meaning the shit that me and my like my my mans do how we hang out and shit just be cool and blah 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 like whatever he does not do the same thing with like with my girl. Now I didn't see any reactions to that. I just saw her post it and I just kept scrolling because I knew it was just going to be controversy just because. But I'm pretty sure people had a problem with that thing. So it, it which is really stupid because I, the idea is so your girl can't just hang out with your man's just by itself. Why would they? Why? Now, we're not talking about if you're married and your friend lives next door, right? Can can he never just come to the crib like, oh, I'm waiting on Jim, blah, 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 whatever. But if Jim is, if, well, not Jim, if John is always at the house, just with your girl there all the time, well, now it's kind of a question of like, why y'all motherfuckers so like? What joy do y'all always have around each other? Like this, this, this is weird that y'all always have this much time around it. Like, look, I'm nobody's saying that it automatically means you're fucking, but the fact that that can be a thing is enough for someone to say, "I don't want that type of relationship for my partner," and it should be respected. The constant conversation around trying to get people to get rid of their desire to have these bound or the, 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 their boundaries at all like this, that tells me that you really, 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 really hate the idea of, you know, respecting your man's boundaries that simply take away your ability to do whatever the fuck you want. No. When you have a relationship with someone, showing them enough respect to not do whatever the fuck you want is required. How the hell does that have to come from me? I it, that should not come from somebody. Like I should not be able to say have to say that to people who clearly want, they desire a a just absolute 
respectable relationship, but you want to have absolutely no boundaries whatsoever. That I'm sorry, you want your boundaries to stop at not being able to suck the other guy's dick. Like that's crazy. That is in fucking insane. But uh, oh, well, let's read this last one and then that's it. Man, tell these two bird brains to shut the fuck up. Listen up, fellas. They want you to have female friends so they can so you can simp like the clown that's expected to pay for all their friends' food if you go to dinner. Because if they felt you could fuck your female friends, they wouldn't want you around those chicks at all. Okay, as much as 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 of a bad start that was, it actually ended up making a lot of sense. Because that's also something that happened. That was going around for a while. That was in question. And I'm actually pretty sure these two in the clip. They sound like two women who would say. Why aren't you paying for my friends? They sound like that. That their friends should be able to just. You know. For whatever reason. Whether they were just there. Or they popped up or whatever. I would assume based on how they talk. That if you didn't pay for their friends. They will side with their friends and say. You're fucked up for not paying for them. Right. Because your money is their friend's money apparently. Um, and the whole thing about, um, if they actually felt a threat, it goes to the same thing dude said up top. If you, if they felt like you could, were fuck could or were fucking your female friends, how would they react? I will go out on the limb and say that, yeah, anybody who has no problem, who say that they don't have a problem with this, if they felt like there was actually intense chemistry with the other, the opposite sex, but they didn't have any proof. I'm pretty sure they would say shut that shit down. Which actually throws their point right in the fucking garbage. But again, uh, what do y'all think? Um, be right, not positive. I'm out.